Good day, brethren. My name is Reverend Josiah with Insight for Truth and Justice. Today I would like to speak to you on the subject, Bloody Sunday Gets Bloodier. This is a Mendesha Abro movie, a blockbuster. And it's getting bloodier. In the sense that over 100 former senior police officers, military, politicians, all hail from the north have been captured in their homes, arrested, and locked up. Some are shot dead secretly. There is a mass killing going on. There is a mass arrest going on. Bio has determined to wage a war. He has been begging northerners for a tribal and regional war. But the leaders of the north have been saying, oh, no, let's leave it. We don't want another war. I understand that we all want peace. But if somebody is insisting and begging you and his behavior is telling you, I want war, I think the best action is to tell him that no man has a monopoly of violence. That is a point I want to emphasize here. The massacre of Northerners is unacceptable and cannot continue to go on unanswered. That is a point Matthew 26 verse 52 says, He who kills with a sword will die by the sword. And that is the word of God. The sins of Bio have ascended to heaven. The blood of the innocent in Sierra Leone have cried out to the Lord. Revelation 18 verse 5. And so, again, I just want to call on the people of Sierra Leone. I know it's difficult in a country of so much injustice. Since this man came to power, it's all about tribe. Yes. Every senior officer in that country now is either a Mende or a Shabru. The rest are maybe supporters. And all the rest are silenced. Even at the central bank where I was working, somebody told me. He said, now it's no longer English that is the official language. It's Mende that is speaking in every office. That is the situation Sigalona has descended into. Not only there is political and social insecurity, but economic woes, economic mess. People are struggling to get their daily bread. People are struggling to afford one meal a day. Yet they have been killed every day for just belonging to the north. Oh, you are a former minister or you are a former officer and you are associated with anything that is fake, like the fake coup that he has acted as a movie. I want to assure you that God is on his throne. The time of vengeance is here. God will avenge his people. We have to stand up as one man and fight in prayer and fight with unity. Jeremiah 51 verse 19 says, We try to heal the wound of Babylon, but she could not be healed. That's exactly what has gone wrong in Sierra Leone. We have prayed for this country. The government is getting worse because the sins of Bio have ascended to heaven. The innocent blood have piled up and have ascended to heaven. And God is about to release his wrath. As he says in Revelation 16, verse 19, I gave Babylon the cup of wine of the fury of his wrath. God is about to do it. As you see, Bio, Fatima, they are living corpses that are walking, living dead. 2024 will be good news for Sierra Leone. Believe my word. 2024, things will change. And the Egyptians you see today harassing your life, making your life miserable, you will see them no more. That is the word of God in Exodus 14. Verse 12 to 14, when Moses declared, the Egyptians that you see harassing our lives, they will be no more very soon. So be cheerful. Have faith in God. Have faith in his mercy and his power to deliver the poor masses. May God bless us all and shalom.